All right, guys, we have a crochet video. Now I'm going to be doing a new technique today, so you guys bear with me. We're going to sip this tea. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's jump into what we're going to be using. So I'm going to be using a crochet needle. All of the hair details will be listed in the description box. So make sure you check the description box for all of the products used in this tutorial. But I'm going to be using some red ombre hair. I've been wanting red hair for so long. And I'm also going to be using a weaving net. Ooh, new technique, new technique. So I'm going to show you guys how I use this weaving net to get the flip over method with crochet braids. So here is my braiding pattern. Very simple, straight back. And we're going to take this braid that's hanging and we're going to lay it flat against the back of my head. And then I'm just going to sew it down to the other braid on the side of my head. Now as you can see, I do have a straight back pattern, but I take those braids and I always have a braid that goes across the nape of my neck. And this is so that I can lift the braids up and put it in a ponytail without the braid showing. So I'm going to show you how I attach this hair. It's a different technique than what I've usually been doing. So I'm going to slow this down. So we're going to attach our latch hook underneath our braid. I'm going to take my hair. I'm going to loop it onto the hook of the latch hook. We're going to make sure that we close it and we're going to pull it through the corn roll. And then we're going to open that hook again and we're going to reinsert that hair into that hook, close it, and we're going to pull it through the hole. And then we're going to do it one more time. So we're going to take that hair, put it in between the latch hook, close it, and pull it through that loop. So we're going to make a double loop, and this is how you're going to secure your hair to your corn roll. Now, trust me, when you get this down pack, it's going to make your crocheting process so much faster. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to attach the hair to the latch hook, close it, pull it through, and we're going to repeat that process two more times. And this is going to keep your hair secure without the hair getting loose. And it's going to also keep your knot underneath the hair. So when you pull it up, the knot is going to be underneath. See that? So this is one pack of hair. And I just want to show you how it looks so far. Now, I knew I wasn't wearing this in a ponytail. But if you do, make sure that the corn roll at the bottom, all of the hair is installed close together. Now, because this hair is ombre and I know I'm going to be cutting it, I'm going to show you how I install it. So I do not install it even. I take the hair and fold it in half so that one piece is longer than the other. In the event I have to cut it, I don't want to cut all of the red hair off. And then I'm just going to install it the normal way. So this is now three packs. I have one pack on each side and one pack in the back. And now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that net. So this is a sheet net and I oftentimes use this when I'm doing hair extensions. I'm just going to cut the net in half and then I'm going to take one of the halves and I'm going to cut out a small square like so. And then I'm going to attach that to the top of my hair. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I don't want to have any excess tension on my hairline. Also, I want this to be really full. And third, I want to be able to fill in the spaces from the parts. And you'll see what I mean as we go about doing this install. So I'm just going to take that net and I'm going to sew it down around the perimeter. And I'm not sewing down tight at all, just so that the net stays flat like so. Now with this flip over method, it's very important that you keep your crochet braids close together. So by attaching that net, I'm able to install more hair close together without compromising my hairline. I don't want to put too much hair in one space and it just makes the hairline weak and I don't want any breakage. So that is why we're going to be installing this net. You see that space here? We don't want that. So by attaching the net, you're able to put the hair close together. So as you can see, when you flip it up, it looks like the hair is growing right out of your scalp and you don't see too much of the natural parting. And you definitely get a lot of volume doing this technique as well. So I'm going to continue to do the same process and I'm going to fill in that space in the middle. And the way that I'm installing this hair, I'm going around in a circular motion. So I'm going from front to back and that's how I'm going to be closing up the space. Now as you can see, it is very full and I was thinking about doing bangs, but then I decided I wanted to be able to put it in a ponytail for the gym. 
So I'm just gonna be doing some light layering. Again, I don't wanna take all of the ombre hair off, but I do wanna be able to flip this hair over and wear it in multiple styles. Now by doing this technique, I was only able to use four and a half packs. As you can see, it's very full and I got the flip over method effortlessly. Like there's no spaces or gaps and I'm loving the ombre color. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this look and this method. And if you guys didn't notice already, we hit 100K, yay! So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, mm, Sips Tea. And also, while you're at it, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Go ahead, girl, just add me. And I will see you guys in the next video.